But I want to share with you the headline. Ghana movies now have no lessons. Grace Omabo, known as Mame Dokno. Nigeria movie has it. Alright, Nigeria movies has that quality and life lesson. This woman I'm actually quoting on this channel is a veteran and a legendary actress. I'm saying it as it is. I'm facing the fact. Let me not use the word. She's right. We are nowhere near them. We are nowhere near Nigeria. We are nowhere. We, in fact, we can't be. We, the mindset of competition should be dropped. We should just do our thing. I mean, that is my opinion. That is how, that is how my work ethics are. Do your thing. Allow people to bask in the glory of what they can do. And that is Nigerians. They can do it. They can, they, 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 we can even exchange Gollywood and Nollywood. And we will go and do Nollywood. We will still fail. Nigerians will take Gollywood, rebrand it, and do it better. I will still envy Gollywood. Another beautiful day right here on this channel, TJ. I am only with TJ. Uh, basically, TJ Studios, all right? Let's carry on with some new exclusives, all right? Okay, before I do that, join this family, subscribe, and let's do this. Thank you so far, so good. To anybody watching me in the African space, Pan-African space, this is a Pan-African channel. Let's do this, all right? Let's carry on with something that is quite interesting within the movie industry, which a veteran movie, you know, or actor, actress, yes, actress basically has shared something with us, uh, shared something within a Ghanaian space. And I feel that this kind of advice and admonishment and narrative of her, if we pay heed to it, is going to help our industry. You know, we've, we've killed it. I don't want to say we've truncated it. We've killed our industry. Producing films in Ghana right now is not a perfect maximization thing unless you consider featuring Nigerian acts. I don't want to go into it, but I want to share with you the headline. Ghana movies now have no lessons. Grace Omabo, known as Mame Dokno. Nigeria movie has it. All right. Nigeria movies has that quality and life lesson. This woman I'm actually quoting on this channel is a veteran and a legendary actress. She's been around dating as far back, if, if I recall, 1992. And is doing massive. Has done basically massive and is doing massive. Now, a legend watching from her back has featured in, you know, some current movies of ours within the Gollywood industry and then the Kuma would precisely that of the local language tree. Now, this admonishment of her and this narrative, basically, of her says a lot about our industry. We all know it's down. It's, it's, I don't want to say it's done and dusted, but to revive it will come with a lot of, of, of courtesy calls. We need to heal a lot of wounds, especially from the side of Nigeria. We'll go into it. But before I do that, touch a lot more on the editorial from my end. Let's read a daily like I've been doing a lot more on this channel okay legendary Ghanaian actress grace omabo also known as mami dokono is concerned over the quality of movies produced by ghana's movie industry according to her movies produced by the movie industry has no life lessons that could positively impact the lives of movies or movie lovers and Ghanaians as a whole mami dokono mentioned that she only patronizes made in ghana movies just for pleasure and not because she hopes to learn something positive from the movie. Now, I'm quoting it. I look at it, in quote or in bracket, the movie industry, and I laugh in my head because I don't see much lessons in what they are doing these days. I listen to it and maybe I watch it for fun of it. She said in a report on AssassinRadio.com. She also commented on roles and cast in modern movies and wondered why young actors were made to play the roles of old people when there are elderly actors in the movie industry. She said, but during our time, we were not many, just a few of us. When a father should play a father role, he's an old man, an elderly man. He's not made up with mustache and all that powder and all that. She recounted a time 
when she had to reject a role in a Kuma Wood movie because the producers wanted to cast her as the wife for a young actor, Lewen. I remember one time they asked me to come and do a Kuma Wood movie and somebody was supposed to play my husband. I said, ah, how can a small boy like this be play my husband? You know, maybe I should mention the name, Le Wen. Yes, playing my husband. No, it can't happen. I will not play that role because what at all is he going to tell me? So I didn't play the role or I didn't play the role in bracket. And they got angry with me. She narrated. We, we cannot go back and pretend she, 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 there's, there's 95 or 99 percent truth in what he's saying. Well, in line with characters or younger characters who are playing old characters in the Ghana movie industry, it's quite interesting to an end, to an extent, because they, they depend on famed actors to play the role of elderly people so as to gain the market game now. I'm bringing this podcast to you because, you see, the root cause of the downfall of our industry, we know. We know better. We know better. It's our self-competition with someone. It's our self-competition, and I should mention him with Nigeria. Anything about Ghana, anything about any Ghanaian competing with, with anyone in any country is Nigeria. And the funny thing is that on the opposite side, Nigerians are not competing with Ghanaians, not to talk of Africans. They are, they are just doing their thing. And so focused on worldwide dominance. So you, you watch the industry and yes, a school of thought, they will know. But how to go back, drop the ego and apologize is the problem. They've taken the future, the feature game, sorry, there. So for a Nigerian producer or director to feature any Ghanaian, the person has to pick a flight and go to Nigeria. For them, they are not competing. They could have still said, okay, we don't care. We do our movie. Go, 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 go ahead, Ghana. But they still do movies and feature Ghanaians because they understand business. They understand that they still need to tap into the Ghana market. They need money. They don't care about the Bruha. The narrative of Mami Dokuno is like, we picking an elderly or a young man to play the role of Peter Dochi, the late, you know, some local Efe who I respect so much. All right. And all these legends, I made him want to go. All right. We are killing fathers. We are killing legends. We are kill, killing the, the career of elderly people who can play the role of an elderly person naturally. And because we think Lewin would create a comic relief on that role, we just pick him. And what happens is that when you watch these movies, I respect Le Wen. Le Wen don't take it in a different context. It has comedy and a whole lot, which does not reflect on the character of the person. Look at the Aki and Popo. All right, era. They played their roles as children with elderly people. Some local Efe, I made Chimuana go sometimes to an extent, extent a mid elder like Mr. Ibu. Charles Okafo. It makes the movie natural because they will exhibit natural instincts of, of an elderly person and even if they are supposed to act in a comic way, they try or they do it in line with it. They don't just try, they do it. So this narrative of Mame Dokuno is true. Basically true. You don't pick Ame Chimuanago and then dress up who can I use, who can I use, who can I use. Any young Nigerian actor to play a role with him. It can happen maybe just once in a while. But it's becoming too rampant and random. When we need to feature a young act to see it ourselves. The whole summary of what I'm saying is that. Mami Dokunu may have this point. But to understand I beg. To understand I beg. We killed our, music, our movie industry. With the narrative of charging exorbitant amount to deter people and Nigerians for that matter from shooting yeah. and after that we've seen a nose dive of our movie we've said this on this channel a lot of times we didn't learn our lessons we've done the same with our movie music industry another policy play Ghana and we are seeing the end game of it 2024 has been a slow year I want to touch on 
2024, Ghana's music industry in 2024, and how, you know, it has affected us, how the disallowance of Nigerians has affected our game and our industry. And I said it the last time, first time, no be fool. Second time, no be fool. Let's say the play Ghana is the second time. Third time, will be, will be, I don't want to use the word here. I know some of my people will come for me, but I'm saying it as it is. I'm facing the fact. Let me not use the word. She's right. We are nowhere near them. We are nowhere near Nigeria. We are nowhere. We, in fact, we can't be. We, the mindset of competition should be dropped. We should just do our thing. I mean, that is my opinion. That is how that is how my work ethics are. Do your thing. Allow people to bask in the glory of what they can do. And that is Nigerians. They can do it. They can, they, 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 we can even exchange Gollywood and Nollywood. And we will go and do Nollywood. We still fail. Nigerians will take Gollywood, rebrand it, and do it better. I will still envy Gollywood. It is just us. I'm not saying all of us, but some of us, majority of us. All right? So, Grace Omabo, you have a point. I salute you for talking out, for speaking out, sorry. And the least said about the Ghana movie industry, the better. It is not a venture you invest in. You invest in. You just should try shots kits and this and all these. All right. Okay. So this is it on today's exclusive on the editorial session. I don't know if I'm, I made sense here. You can share your thoughts with me in line with today's topic. Share your thoughts with me and let's do this together. All right, so the good news is next week, or t um, 17th of August, the new shows are ready. You'll be seeing new faces on this channel. Aside myself, you'll be seeing new faces discussed in the African space, new content aside what I'm doing here. So expect that from, you know, from my end. Okay, I told you I needed to wait and make sure we do it and do it well so that it will suit you and suit the channel as well this is tj studios i'm Olua tj i'm a mecca i'm follow rain you can do the need for by adding up to this channel subscribe and let's do this together i salute you and peace out